And now we go into three Hallmark Channel reviews. I have a lot of films to catch up on with Hallmark. <sighs> They're doing their Summer Nights stint right now. Their, their series of six films. And I've watched uh, the three that have aired so far. You can check out my review for Roman Love that was uploaded just about a week ago. This one is Love and Sunshine with Danica McKellar. Danica McKellar is one of the Hallmark darlings. They love her to death. We love her. Does she always do great films? She's always great in them, but she doesn't have the best films on there. But she is one of the darlings, and I understand it. She's very good. And let's get into it. This is all about Danica McKellar's character who after after a breakup is fostering this uh this military dog until its owner comes back home and af after he comes back home you know what's going to happen he has to go and get the dog and they start liking each other a little bit hanging out blah 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 and why is it called love and sunshine well because sunshine is the name of the dog and that's what brings them together this is a decent little film. <laughs> this had some decent comedy, different fr from what other Hallmark films did, but I think it's due to them actually building the relationship a little bit more than they did in past films. With her last film, Love in Design, that one was just very piss poor with the structure of it. You knew what was going to happen. But with this, it brings in an, an, el an element of him going to fight for the country, and then will he get with her? Well, what will what, happen with the dog? You know what will happen with the dog as soon as you get to the end. And no, the dog does not die. They don't kill animals in their Hallmark films, thank the Lord, because that would piss a lot of people off. But with this film, I, I just felt this certain charm with it that really worked for me. The charm in this film comes from the uh, very well done camera angles in this one. This one had beautiful shot selection and cinematography. And yes, there is a difference between shot selection and cinematography. I, I do have one or two problems with the film, but I'll get into that in a little bit. Danica McKellar was really, really good in this. The guy was very good. I can't remember his name right now. But still, a very decent little film here with good chemistry between the two. Decent, cute little flirting comedy back and forth from time to time. Now we get into my qualms with the film. Not, not really qualms, but just little nitpicks. The main nitpick I have is with some of the auto-focusing. With some, some, some of the focusing in the film... It doesn't work too well. It it makes it look like they're trying a little bit too hard to make it look perfect. And not like real life, but if, if that makes any sense whatsoever, which it probably doesn't, but what this film did was charm the pants off me. And yes, I am wearing shorts. I'm wearing shorts, don't worry. It charmed me enough to where I'm going to definitely recommend you see this film if you're in the mood for a cute little romance story with some good chemistry and very well done cinematography besides the auto-focusing. And my other qualm with the film is that some of the ADRing was off. Some of the ADRing. If you don't know what ADRing is, ADR is when they go into the studio and dub over their characters because sometimes the boom mics don't pick up the best audio and they they can't figure it out until they get into the studio to actually start editing it and putting the film together that's kind of what happens that's what ADRing is it, it's it, it's where say D Danica McKellar did a great job in it but she still has to give the same amount of emotion as she did there on set, but with her voice. But some of the ADRing was off, not with her, 
but with some of the other characters. Because, like I said, the boom mics don't pick up everything, and, and that's not anybody's fault. But it, it could have been done just a little bit better with getting these... Getting the words to match their mouths. Otherwise than that, I really enjoyed this film. Those qualms are not going to bump my score down very much with these Hallmark films. I am not looking at Oscar quality acting. I am I am not looking for stuff like, say, Get Out or uh, or a, a League of Their Own or The Shape of Water. I'm, I'm watching a TV quality, a TV... What's the word I'm looking for? A made-for-TV movie, if that makes any sense whatsoever. And with that, you need to have some chemistry in there. Enough chemistry to make it believable, but you also got to have good acting in there. Cute little moments here and there, which is what they gave you here. So I'm going to give Love and Sunshine an A-. minus. I really did enjoy this film a lot, and now let's get into the other four that I've watched.